Passive acoustic research is where we use sound to study the ocean. We put recorders out into the ocean, and then we get that data back and we look and see what species are present. Passive acoustic monitoring allows us to learn when and where marine life is found in the ocean. It's one of the many tools NOAA Fisheries uses to track North Atlantic right whales and other marine mammals so that we can learn about and protect them. But this technology has only been able to tell us where whales have been until now. The first recordings from marine mammals occurred in the 1940s, 1950s, and since then the field of passive acoustics has really exploded. Nowadays technology is involved, meaning that we can capture more species and we know a lot more information. We have recorders that we can put over the side of the boat, have them sit along the ocean floor and record continuously for three months to two years. We have to physically get the recorder back in order to look at the data and know what was recorded. We're able to tell who's around, what other sounds are present, and how that's changing. The great thing about passive acoustic recordings is that we collect anything that is making sound as it's going by. We also capture environmental sounds, so rain, wind, earthquakes, anything that's an environmental factor. And then, of course, us humans make a lot of noise. Whales use sound to communicate and find food. NOAA scientists are also researching sounds in the ocean made by humans, such as shipping, oil and gas exploration, and construction activities, and how these sounds affect whales. I like to think of it as if you're in the city and you're trying to have a conversation on the phone. It's very hard. You have sirens going by, there's cars, there's people. There's so much happening that you can't effectively have a conversation. We also use aerial and vessel-based surveys to track whale populations. But passive acoustic monitoring allows us to collect data 24-7 regardless of weather. It also allows us to learn more about endangered species in a non-invasive way. We've been tracking endangered North Atlantic right whales with passive acoustic monitoring since 2004. The continuous coverage provides valuable insights into how long these whales remain in an area and how often they return. One of the problems with climate change is that it's shifting where prey are going and so whales are moving to where the prey are. The information we gain from passive acoustic monitoring is extremely important. We're able to get an understanding of what species are present when they may be shifting and moving and how that's changing. Now that we have these long-term data sets, we can go back and look at them and we can reanalyze. One of the biggest discoveries we had was that North Atlantic right whales occur along the entire coastline in winter months, which is something we didn't know before. North Atlantic right whales, especially moms and calves, spend a lot of time at the surface, but they can be hard to spot. Collisions between whales and vessels are one of the leading causes of right whale injury and death. We use the information we collect from passive acoustic monitoring to let people know when whales are in the area to help prevent vessel strikes. In the past, we made these predictions based on historical data. But now, funding from the Inflation Reduction Act is enabling us to track whales in near real time. And with real-time data collection, the instrument is actively submitting and transmitting data via satellite or other methods. When we know exactly when and where whales are, we can be more responsive and more timely in establishing measures to protect them. With only 370 North Atlantic right whales remaining, we're investing in transformational technologies to save the species.